Hello friends, in this video I'm going to explain how to remove a field to enable constraints. One or more rows contain values, walleting, non null, unique, or foreign keys. Constraints error. Uh, in this video, I will explain how to remove this error and what are the main reasons for this error. So, first of all, we need to copy this function name. Just copy this one. And just go to your solution explorer and here find your dataset and go to the designer of your dataset double click there and press control F and just find your function that is causing this error okay now we have found this uh, function and uh, here we need to apply try and catch. Okay, I just need to stop this application. Try and do catch. Okay. Here we are going to catch the exception. Right? Okay, just uh, cut this line of code and paste into try block okay just save your program and just rebuild this application okay now i'm going to start the application again and we'll show you that if the error is removed let me stop this previous one I'm going to log in and uh, just go to employers. It's this one. So you need to view the details. Okay. Now uh, the error is removed. So I want to know the reason uh, behind this error. So I will just supply line break over here where the error was occurring so uh, my data table name was dt so i just applied the line break over here so uh, let run our application again i like uh, reload our page so we are over here uh, the system have executes uh, executed this uh, line of code successfully so just open the uh, click view and go to other windows and just click command window over here we are going to run this command and here dt is the data table name that uh, we are having over here and uh, just use your name that you are using in your program just copy this one and uh, paste it over here okay okay so here is the column el name does not allow db null value so this was a column name that was causing this error right on the other side our application is running successfully right so you can go to your database and check for uh, this column name uh, like i have this column name in this table and just design and here I just need to allow nulls. Okay, let's save your application and make sure that you, uh, if you have implemented try catch block, just uh, let it be there uh, because this is just the useful thing, not the something that uh, cause any issue to your application. So let it be there. Okay, so you can uh, allow your uh, columns to allow nulls so and you can save your database and just reload and everything will be fine thanks for watching see you in the next video bye bye